There are countless royal wedding viewing parties going on around the world tomorrow. And to help you throw the perfect one, we brought an award-winning mixologist, Charlotte Voise. She is here with the menu, the drinks, the details to turn this gathering into the party of the year. So nice to have you with us. Thanks for having me. And so for anybody who is concerned that there may not be enough time to get it all together, Plenty of time. In fact, you even downloaded some of the decorations we have out here, right? Right. The bunting right here is downloadable from brides.com. Uh, the invitation, which is really cute, you can invite your guests officially from uh, bettycrocker.com. And you can even print out your official program, which I think you've already seen this morning. So then no excuses for right. not being exactly. ready. Now, as part of the theme, since this is a wedding, yes. you have cocktails for us that are something old, something new, something barred, and something blue. That's right. Really That's cute. Theme. So let's start out with the something old. So the something old, are we going back into history of the classic? cocktail. It was actually on Princess Mary's uh, big day back in 1922. A bartender called Harry Craddock here in London created this drink for her. Uh, a classic drink with some old-fashioned ingredients. The base is Calvados. We have Dubonnet, which was the Queen Mum's favourite tipple. Oh. And a little dry vermouth. So I'm just going to shake this up okay. for you. And you can have a little taste back in time. All right. And so we shake it with a little ice. Shake it with a little ice. You have some lemon here. Does it little get a little twist? Peel. A little twist on top. And someone told me the queen likes her martini, gin with a twist. That's what I've heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So cheers. There we go. To the happy couple. To something old. And what we decided with this one was to pair it with a little bit of toast, since the guys back home have to get up very early in the morning, right? Perfect in the morning. The uh, this will wake you up in the morning. It's yeah. got a little kick to it. But it's nice. It's very smooth. Right. So that's the Princess Mary cocktail. It's something old. Something new. Something new. So I've created a brand new drink for Prince William and mm -hmm. Kate. And this is the Royal Balmoral Punch. Balmoral's, of course, um, where they spend a lot of time in the country, where that's Prince Charles right. does. So a beautiful uh, castle up in Scotland, where the royals love to get away for a little reason relaxation um, and only the best for them on their big day we've bought the world's most awarded single malt scotch whiskey the Glenfiddich 12 um, and into the punch I've added some British apple juice some tea infused simple syrup what's Ooh. more British than a cup of tea um, and just some traditional lemonade to lengthen it a little lemonade um, so have a little so taste we'll try of that. this cheers to something new and what's fun with this being Scottish we can throw in the national flower of Scotland a thistle and that can oh. be just a fun garnish that's really cute. This is very tasty. A little light. It's, I like the lemon in it. Um, is this some uh, Scottish smoked, smoked salmon, salmon here? Yeah, so a few savory uh, and sweet canapes that marry perfectly with the Balmoral punch. I like the thinking. Now here we have something borrowed. Something borrowed, and also some friends that you can bring with us. This cracks me up. These are yes, some fun. Yes, it's hilarious. Things. Are these tea bags? Yes, you can choose your own royal and make tea from uh, Prince Harry. I've got Harry. You know, he's now the most eligible bachelor, he so I chose well. He is available. There we Just go. Just don't tell my husband. Shh. Okay. Um, but this one is really fun. So I've borrowed this tradition from the East End of London. And if you want to go ahead and pour yourself out a cup of tea, you'll find out that there's a little something different. Um, it's not tea, tea at all. This doesn't look like traditional tea. You see, in Cockney rhyming slang, a cup of tea is referred to as a rosy lee. So in the East End, they'll have a rosy lee in their street parties. Only because it's a special occasion, it's not just tea. It's a nice gin martini. A gin martini, so, but there's something a little pink or, or grapefruit yeah, in there. Yeah, I've used some rose infused simple syrup. Oh, the English like rose, rose, Kate Middleton. Too. It's going to look so pretty tomorrow. So make sure you stick your pinky ooh. out when you, ooh, ooh. when you try that. Is that That's how it Yes. We proper are the proper, proper way to do it. Yes. Mm. With Harry. <laughs> Quite Oh, I really like that. I Thank wasn't you, nice too sure light. about the rose, yeah. but it's delicious. Put in floral. And we've paired that with quintessential afternoon tea. Uh, we have cucumber sandwiches in the front, my favorite, yep. which go great with the Hendrix gin, which is made from cucumbers. Scones. A few little scones. Some with tea butter cakes. and jam. Yes. I love it. I'm going to have to have a little snack after we're all done. But before we Fantastic. can do that, something blue, you've something gone all out. Blue. I love it. Well, I was inspired by the beautiful engagement ring that Kate has, of course, passed down from Princess Diana. Lady Diana. So what we've done here is a little bit of creme de violette, which is an old-fashioned liqueur, some blue curacao. Does it taste like violets? It has a pretty floral element it to it, yes. But then the finishing touch, what's a party without some bubbly, right? A little bit of champagne. So a little bit of champagne here to top that off. We've You've got, got the blue cupcakes. We have all these fantastic cookies, a ring, the bride and groom, Big Ben. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. To a oh, wonderful finishing day. Touch. Oh, finishing touch. Some edible silver flakes oh here. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful. They're yeah. real flowers. They finally go into your... Your All cocktail right, we have and to toast in. before we so toast. head out. This Cheers. is the official champagne you mentioned. What do we think? Delicious. Good. Thank you. I love them all, and they're original and they're fun. We'll have all the recipes at our website. Absolutely. Charlotte, thanks so much for bringing them into us today.